Hey, Raxian's Rival X Factor here with another episode of Plant Side 2 Basic Training, and we're going to go over biolabs and amp stations, shields, generators, cap points, spawn points, what you need to be thinking of attacking, what you need to be thinking of defensively to help capture more regions for your empire. Biolabs, tech plants, and amp stations all have their own unique layouts, and there's certain generators and shields associated with this. So let's take a look at this. Right now I'm in the middle of the amp station and I see multiple shields. This is a vehicle shield. That permits enemy vehicles from shooting through and getting through that. But enemy infantry can walk through it. So can friendly infantry. Now let's take a look at these icons. Now let's make our mini-map bigger by hitting H. And you're going to notice there's icons that match this. Well, let's start running towards one of them and see what we could find. Bad guys, number one. Number two, it says it's blinking defend on my screen. That's because one of the generators is in a little bit of trouble. So let's take a look at it if we can. And as you can see, these are spread out. It's important to attack these and defend these. How do you do that? You simply attach the bomb if you're attacking. Hold E, a countdown starts. Or if you can catch it as a defender, hold E, stop the countdown. It goes off after a couple seconds. Or if it's blown up, you got to repair the gen. The next shield we're going to look at is the main vehicle shields, and these can be scattered about Araxis at certain bases and outposts. And we're going to look at this tank icon. Again, infantry can go through it, both friendly and foe, but enemy vehicles cannot drive through it, nor can friendly vehicles shoot through it. So if I'm in a tank, if I want to shoot at that tower, I have to be on the opposite end of the shield. Let's look at this icon. Up, oh, it's a tank. Guess what? If you want to defend this or you're the VS and you want to help push in, you got to go to where the icon's at. And the same rules apply to attack it, defend it. Either set the bomb, save the bomb, or repair the bomb. Those are your three options, just like the previous generator. Of course, spawn point generators have a shield of their own, which is indicated by this orange shield and this little icon. That is the generator. And you got to look for that in the map. And there might be other ones on the map to kind of uh, protect various areas of access. So look for it on the mini-map or on your uh, heads-up display there. And here's an example of another one. This has its own generator. We can get in and out. They can't. So look for those. To get this one, to this one in an amp station, it's actually by the capture point. So you're going to contest the capture point on the way to getting there. Simply run up these stairs, Generated. run to the left, up, oh, we're on a capture point, which is convenient. Set the bomb there, wait for the timer to go off, opens up the floodgates, rush in here with multiple people, set another bomb, and take out their main spawn point generator. This big dome is a biolab, and there's a couple tricks here that you need to know the way these are laid out. See this icon that I'm shooting at right now? That's a cat point and can be used to catapult your team into the base. And there's multiple typically surrounding a biolab. And they're indicated by this icon everywhere. And those are simple cat points. Within the biolab is the tug of war style conquest points in the middle there, which take quite some time to cap. And as you can see, we're going to look at a couple different icons here. There's a, on the mini map, if you look here, there's a teleporter icon. If the enemy takes this, or friendlies, you can simply do this. You can literally get out of your aircraft, come into this room. If you own it, you can use this. Don't have to do anything. Just walk into it. Now, here's the cool part. If you're the enemy, let's say I'm Vanu right now, this would be purple if I own that cap point. What's that mean? I can shoot out. And the bad guys can't shoot in. They also can't walk in. So that gives you a means to not be spawn camped. If you notice that your cap point is starting to flash, you better get your butt back there or hope somebody recaps it because here's what happens. Let's say we're VS and we're losing this cap point and I decide to stay in here. If this turns back to red like it is now and I'm VS, I'm going to be in a pain shield. It's going to kill me just by being in here. And the TR can run right through here just like I'm doing so now. So pay attention to what colors these are on your screen when you're looking at them. They'll tell you exactly what you can and can't do. These teleporters can move you vertically in certain types of bases and layouts and into a base or across the map, if you will. 
So there are two major generators within this type of facility that's upstairs. The first one, and let's take a look at it, is the spawn generator, which is the most important one. And ours is down right now. So we don't have the ability to spawn into this base. We'd have to spawn on one of the outlying areas, which isn't a big deal. But if you're being attacked, you might not have that option. The bad guys might hold it. So there's actually a shield generator that goes here. How do you find that? You can look at your mini-map, or you can look for this icon. And this is the shield generator to the spawn generator. And it was almost repaired. So that was pretty quick. So let's take a look at our spawn generator again. Up, oh, there's a shield up. Enemies cannot go through this. All right, but we can. They can't shoot through it, but we can. So you could sit here, repair this. Be careful, because your NG tool will overheat. But these are the two most important uh, generators within a biolab. And that'll take a second for the animation to pop up, but all is well. And you can see the tug-of-war style capture points within the biolab. Some have three, some have four. Uh, they're, you know, similar but unique in their own way. And let's look at two last things while we're in a biolab. One is the air pad. And there are a couple different ways that these can be set up the way to gain entry through these. And these are great spots to attack and you have to think about defending them. First, there's the levitation fields, the levitation uh, shoots here. And uh, we're gonna look straight down. Oh boy, that's scary. The middle one brings you down. The two on the outside bring you up. Other towers might have jump pads up. You literally hit a jump pad and go flying through the air, Mario style. And you could do it from both pads. There's two pads here on a bio lab, usually, actually always, on opposite sides of each other. And lastly, getting to vehicle base downstairs for ground vehicles. And don't forget to look at the icons to figure out where you can reload at and rechange, uh, change your pajamas and whatnot. And we're going to take one more teleporter. This one's in the middle here. Where does that bring us? changes you to straight downstairs. And as you can see, see, there's another shield down here. There's a generator upstairs associated with that. Um, and you can pull out any ground vehicle you want as long as you have tech plant uh, capabilities or connection, you can pull out your uh, Empire-specific tank there. Hopefully this helped you guys out with base layouts, a very short and simple tutorial identifying most of the major key players when assaulting and defending a base. And remember, capture points are everything, so are shields and generators. Those are the three most important things when go about defending or attacking. Hopefully you now have a better sense of direction and what to do when attacking and defending to be efficient and help your empire in the most important ways. Thanks for watching guys and as always if you have any questions or comments don't forget to leave them below. Sony.